Chelsea against Tottenham Hotspurs under the light on Thursday, Stamford Bridge. Get ready. This is a big London derby for many reasons. Chelsea have nothing to play for at the moment. I don't want to even go to Europa Conference League, to be honest with you. But some people just want to go to Europa Conference League so they can use youngsters, they can travel around Europe or something. Well, let me know in the comment section down below. Would you like to see Chelsea go to Europa Conference League or just stay home and focus on the league next season? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below if you want to help your channel. It's going to take you only one second to do it and it will be much appreciated. Let's go. This video is about head to head. Just to give you an idea what happened in the last few games that we played against the Tottenham Hotspurs. And uh, I'm going to make another video, you know, probably on Wednesday after the press conference for my match preview lineups and all that. Because you never know with Chelsea. You know, somebody else might get injured walking the dog outside or watching TV. So it's always a big question mark. Head to head between the two teams. Recent meetings. We're going to go from the bottom to the top one. Spurs 0, Chelsea 3. That was September 2021. And that, you know, Thomas Tuchel. And then Chelsea 2, Tottenham Hotspur 0. That was on January 2022. And then we move Chelsea 2, Tottenham Hotspur 2 at Stamford Bridge. That was August 2022. Next one, Spurs 2, Chelsea 0. At London, um, at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, excuse me, not London Stadium. Still, they don't have the name or naming yet, so they are calling the stadium Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. 2 0 against Chelsea Football Club, and that was February 2023. And the last game we played against them. At their own stadium, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Yes, I got it this time. 4 1 to Chelsea. And we're going to come back to some details, you know, for that game. But we're going to continue some analysis when it comes to form guide. Form guide, Chelsea Football Club. In the last f uh, five games, they beat Manchester United 4-3. Remember, epic game. And then they drew against Sheffield United 2-2. They beat Everton 6-0. They lost 5-0 against Arsenal. And the last game in the Premier League, they drew away against Aston Villa 2-2. This is the problem with Chelsea. You don't know what you get with this team. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shite. So, you don't know what you get. Two wins in the last five. One defeat, horrible defeat in the London derby against Arsenal. And two stupid draws. Sheffield United, how the hell can you draw against them? And Aston Villa, anybody or everybody can say how good we are. We were in the second half. The, what about the first half? What about having 90 minutes of excellent performance? It is what it is. It's a Chelsea thing. Form guide for... West Ham, not West Ham, wake up, brother. Tottenham Hotspurs. In the last uh, five games, they won two, just like Chelsea. They drew one, 
and they lost too. They also lost against Arsenal, but it was close. It wasn't humiliation like Chelsea took 5-0. <laughs> they only took 3-2 three. Three, at the end. Acceptable to a certain level, but listen, man, a loss is a loss. So, um, And then they lost heavily against the Newcastle United. They won against Nottingham Forest. They drew against West Ham in another London derby. They won against Luton Town 2-1. Anyways, and you go to the season so far analysis. Chelsea are ninth on the table. Tottenham are fifth. Chelsea only won 13 games. Tottenham won 18 games. Drawn, nine for Chelsea, six for Tottenham Hotspurs. Losses, Chelsea, 11. And Tottenham Hotspurs, only nine. Let's move on very quickly for the last game that we played them at their own stadium. We destroyed them. <laughs> we destroyed Tottenham Hotspurs. But remember, it was two red cards. And we were very, very lucky in that game. Let's be honest. We fought two red cards. And we fought the second goal from Human Son cancelled by the VAR, we were going to struggle. Even 9 against 11, we had hard time to score against them. So we have to be careful because it's going to be this time 11 against 11. You know what I mean? Let's go. Um, let me give you some details, right? Let's click on the details and show you what happened. So, Koloseski scored for them, sixth minute. And, uh, and Chelsea, Palmer scored a penalty. Nicholas Jackson scored a hat trick. And we know how Tottenham Hotspurs play. They always attack, attack, attack. And the defense is vulnerable. But the problem with Chelsea is they don't know how to score goals. Nicholas Jackson was the man of the match because of hard trick. Like he couldn't even score in freaking empty, empty net. He was awful that day. Don't get fooled by these three goals because it was literally empty net for him to score. How many chances he scored? Even Pochettino, after the game, said he, he should have scored seven goals. Like minimum five. How many chances this brother need in order to score one goal? I don't understand that. And uh, statistics, really, you can't really compare statistics that day. Because Chelsea played 11 against nine people from Tottenham Hotspurs. So ball possession, 61.3. Shot on target, 8 for Chelsea and 5 for Tottenham Hotspurs. Even 9 against 11. They found a lot of chances. They even scored, but it was apparently offside. So Chelsea, really, we have to be careful because it's a London derby. Uh, Tottenham are trying to get to top 4, so they are coming to win this game. They are coming to push and win this game. All right. So let's go. For shot altogether, Chelsea had 17 shot, Tottenham 8 shot. And other statistics here, I don't really care because that game was all about, you know. It was, uh, I don't know. That game, I can't really take it too seriously because of the circumstances. So hopefully, Nicholas Jackson can score and Cole Palmer can score. So this this video was only about head to head. 
and I will make another video with more analysis at my starting 11. Stay tuned for that. But I think, let me spoil my next video a little bit. I think Chelsea will win this game. I think we're going to win 2-1. And it's going to be, no, no, no. 2-1 is like, this is Tottenham Hospitals we're talking about here. They leave a lot of gaps. A lot of gaps. It's going to be 3-1. Let me change my mind. 3-1. Cole Palmer with two goals and Nicholas Jackson with another goal.